it guys. Okay, today we're going to be doing a tutorial on drum programming in Logic Pro 9, specifically using Ultrabeat, uh, the VST program, just to our left. Okay, so I'll give you a quick example of Ultrabeat, um, a brilliant tool, um, comes free with any copy of Logic. Um, today we'll be using the Studio Tight Kit as just an example, as this is for beginners learning how to program drums in a digital audio workstation. Okay, so we'll go for the Studio Tight Kit. Um, this is something you should get accustomed to, it's the, all the enveloping. Um, but for now, we'll just focus on creating the actual drum beat and a few tips and tricks on the way. Okay, in order to get up a MIDI track, we select the pencil tool, it's already selected, but it's found in this box here. So you press command and then click on the first beat of the part and you'll get a MIDI track. Okay, in order to begin punching drums in, we select the track and the piano roll is present. In order to get rid of the piano roll, you simply just press piano roll and it gets rid of it. Okay, we go down to C1, which is the kick drum on the ultra beat sampler. And we're going to do a 4 4 beat so it's the first beat of every bar. Already you can see that's 4 4 beats. I'll just play that to you. See, we're playing in a slower tempo um, at the moment, but later on we'll speed it up. Just an example. Okay, next is the snare drum, which will go on the second and fourth beat of every bar. Okay. Let's have a look. As you can see at the moment, it's sounding a bit simple. Um, so, in order to get a bit more complex, we'll add some hats um, in in order to give it a bit more fulfilment in the mix. Okay, and don't be afraid to add open hats um, in order to do accent the drum beat. As you get better at programming drums, you can experiment as well. So let's listen to this. Sound a little bit better. Maybe something that's worth doing is putting a shuffle in. This adds a bit of a groovy feel to the track you're doing. Okay, let's listen. Sounds good. Okay. Some little tips that you can use when programming drums is accessing. As you can see here, this shows the, the value and the velocity of this specific hi-hat tap. Okay, it's on 103, so if we say raise it to 126, and we may raise this to 119. Let's see how it sounds. You'll notice they're more profound, more prominent in the mix. You hear, you hear that? Yeah. Okay. Now I'm just going to go to a few shortcuts within Logic Pro 9. The first one is looping, um, known to Logic as Cycle. These tools are found in the transport window down here, but a shortcut um, is C. And that gives us now a one bar loop. Okay, let's listen to that. As you can see, it's very easy to have a continuous loop going um, for piano riffs, whatever you want. Um, another tool to use is the metronome tool, and that's done by pressing K, or oh, it's down here in the corner. If we just press K, this will give us an 80 BPM metronome uh, click at a 4 4 pace. But these things are adjustable in the transport window down here. Bearing in mind, this will also change the speed of your drum kit as well. Okay, so let's listen to this with the click track. Next up, solo in the track. I'll just take the click and the metronome and the cycle off. 
Okay. Solving your track. It's simply done once you're selected on the track by pressing S. This can also be done here and here. Simple as that. And that will just isolate the drums so you can listen to what you're playing in particular and do any editing you want to do. Next up is changing the tempo of the drum track. So if we take it up to the standard rhythm of 120 BPM and we play this, you'll notice it's a lot faster and some things get lost also. You know, if we press cycle and we listen to this, a lot more upbeat as you can see. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it. Um, play around with Ultra Beat, and play around with time signatures, tempos, and pretty much do your own thing um, to get your own sound out of uh, Logic Pro 9. Good luck, and look forward to the next tutorial.